My name is Don McClay. I'm a member of the Green Party. I'm running for Oakland mayor in this election. It will be November 2nd, 2010. I'm running on a platform of schools up, crime down, and jobs for our people. All three of those issues really represent that we have a crisis for our youth here in Oakland. Uh, it's a crisis for our youth of color. It's a crisis for all of our youth. We're sitting here uh, at the memorial for a young man named Raymond Justice. And I'd like to talk about Raymond Justice. I'd like to introduce his father, Raven. We have a situation here in Oakland where we lose 100 young people a year or more. The only real difference between this one and all the others is that Raven Justice is a friend of mine and he would like to have a moment to speak about this. Hi Don, and I sure appreciate you coming out. He's a, he's a good friend of mine. And my whole point is that my son was into education. He was 3.33, a good kid, wasn't in crime or drugs or anything. He was savage murdered a couple weeks ago. And I was telling my dear friend that's running for Mayor Oakland that we need somebody in the office that's going to help these young people that's going through all this turmoil here. We need to stop worrying about monies and let's try to get back to the basics, saving these young kids. And I'm so tired of every week I read the paper, I look at the news, another child is dead. And I think my dear friend Don, if he get in the office, can help us do something about it because God is good. God is first in my life. And that's how I taught my kids. And education is second. And I feel that if John get in office, that he will make a change. People in Oakland, people in many parts of the United States deal with these kinds of problems and they get the overwhelming feeling that nothing is gonna get done. Uh, when we were talking with the police about this crime, we talked to the neighbors, we talked with the youth, we talked to some of the people who saw what was going on, and there's this overwhelming feeling that no matter how much we talk, things will continue to be the same. Since Raymond was killed, there's been another two young people killed. It's only been two weeks. On an average, we lose a young person in Oakland every three days. It uh, seems like a long stretch from there to talk about the city budget. But the reason why nothing gets done is because the people in government have their hands tied. They have their hands tied by a bunch of propositions that people have slipped through the public. They have their hands tied by overlapping jurisdictions. They have their hands tied by a government that has so many obligations that it's not able to do anything. And that's why I propose that we have an overwhelming budget reform. I think we need to simply come up with a good, not simply, we need to come up with a new comprehensive budget and a new way of deciding how we spend our money that's flexible, that deals with good times and bad times, and we need to bring it to the people and repeal the mess that's before us and replace it with something that's workable. Until that, I don't know how we're going to do anything for our people. The things I would want to do is I would want to hire more civilians to work in these neighborhoods. Right now, the idea of trying to arrest our way to paradise is not working, it is failing. We need to work out in the civilian community, and we need to be able to reach this youth before these events happen. That's the only way we're gonna get it down. Now, we also have a problem with City Hall. City Hall does not look like our neighborhoods. The districts that we use to elect our city aldermen does not look like our neighborhoods. It is way too hard for social activists and members, leaders of the community to actually get involved in the process. So that's the other reform that we feel that has to come forward. It has to be a reform in how we elect our leaders and make it accessible and independent of money and politics so that our local government can sit down and be a representation of the people and deal with the people's main interests and have only the people's interests at heart. Thank you very much. One of the things I want to say, yeah, I want to thank my good friend Don for coming out and uh, seeing me because he's been in my corner since day one since this happened. And I'm, I'm reaching out to you people to get the right one in office. And I think he's going to be the best candidate 
for us to be the mayor of Oakland because he cared. And my son, my oldest son, Raven, I appreciate him. Uh, my good friend, Orlando Johnson, he was in the mayor campaign. I love him, I appreciate him. And I appreciate everybody that supported the Justice Klan. So thank you very much and uh, make the right decision in November.